Hello and welcome to today's lesson. So in, to, in today's lesson we are going to rapidly build uh, WordPress using both WordPress and AI. Uh, let's dive uh, right in and in order to, for us to do this you need to have uh, registered and bought a domain and already hosting it, right? Because on this example we'll be working on a self-hosted uh, domain um, with cPanel. Once you have your cPanel credentials, you are going to log into your cPanel dashboard using your username and password. Uh, once you have successfully logged in, you want to scroll down to the software uh, section where you will find the Softaculous apps installer. If you open that up, it will bring a whole bunch of uh, options. And the one we are going to choose since we are uh, building on WordPress will be the WordPress um, software. So you click on the blue button on the install button. You let that uh, install, just make sure it's on a HTTPS, which is a secured protocol. And just make sure you've chosen the right domain um, for the installation. Especially if you've got a subdomain, uh, you want to make sure you click on the on the correct uh, domain to install. And the directory field, you want to leave that blank. Um, and on the last op option, you just want to make sure it's 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 installing the latest version of WordPress. Uh, just further down on site settings, I will just call this. Uh, uh, I'll give this site a name. And then I will give it a description. Obviously, you can come up with your own name, site name, and, and site description. Uh, on the right hand side, you want to set your admin account. So, your admin username and your admin password, <clears throat> these credentials you will use to log into your WordPress. What I would advise you to do is make sure the username and password is not easy to guess. Uh, try and make it as strong as possible. Once that is done, you want to save the username and password safely for use next time, right? Once your username and password has been saved, you just click on install. This usually takes less than five minutes, especially if you've got a fast internet connection. And I expect this one to also be done in no time. There we go, it is done. Then I can return to the dashboard. You would see I've recently installed WordPress on this domain uh, with today's date and time. To log into the WordPress, I need to then click on the admin icon. This will log me straight into my WordPress dashboard where we'll start to install uh, we we'll choose a theme and start working on our site. Once you're inside your WordPress dashboard, you want to go to Appearance Themes and you're gonna add a new theme. The theme that I recommend you to, to install is the Astra theme, right? If it does not appear here on the list, you can just quickly search it using the search bar. Once the Astra theme has been installed successfully, then you want to go ahead and activate it. Now we can start uh, customizing our site and making it look uh, beautiful. Here is the exciting part now where once a theme has been successfully activated, you've got two options. You can build using an AI website builder within this theme within WordPress, or you can do the classic starter templates, which is, you know, uh, takes a little bit more time and it's a bit of a, a more classical way of building it but for this lesson we're gonna try out the AI tool so I click on build with AI and here it tells you it's free you just need to have an account with zip WP which is the AI platform behind this theme you go ahead and you say let's get started for free it's worth noting though that you can create up to two uh, websites using one account. I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in using, you can log in using Google or you can log in using your uh, credentials. So I'm going to continue. And now the magic actually starts. 
it says let's build your website and you want to give your website a name so i've got a name for my website and it asks you what type of website this is right um is it an n is it a non-profit is it a restaurant is it a local business i'm going to go ahead and choose non-profit and continue now it's asking you to describe this website um in a few words i already have written a short description of what the website is with objectives and context like any ai tool you want to give objectives and context of what you're doing so that it it, it creates um, good or it generates good uh, content and context for you so i'm gonna go ahead and paste this and then i can i've got an option to improve my uh, my prompts uh, using ai or i can just continue i click on continue it's asking for email phone number if you choose to use a phone number you can put a phone number and an address social media accounts you can um, add those um, social media account links right now if you do have your, your your facebook account instagram i have an option to add more than one facebook um, social media account but i'll only just put one at the moment and then click continue what the next step it does uh, it, it it sort of pre-selects or pre searches images that are relevant to what you've described your website to be so now i can just choose images that i would want to be part of my website and i'm gonna go ahead and click on a bunch of uh, images that will describe what we do or what this type of business does you can select quite a number of images as you as you wish but i wouldn't advise you to more than 10 15 uh, images i think that, that that should be sufficient for so you've got an option to also um, type in and filter these images according to what you best want um, in this instance I've, I've gone ahead and I typed recycling and it's filtered uh, images that are relevant to that search once I've selected all the images that I want to select I then click continue what this what this now is doing is busy generating a website using the images that I've that I, I selected and also using the prompts that I that I gave it to describe what, what type of website I'm trying to build and what it does is it then gives me a whole bunch of ready-made templates that I can choose from as my actual site so instead of choosing a, like previously you would choose a theme and you would customize it this comes you know pre loaded with your images of your choice and um, the wording and the prompts that you've given it. I will just go ahead and select a theme that I feel uh, speaks to what the website is all about. You have an option to preview how the site looks like by just hovering your, your mouse over it, over each option. I'm going to go ahead and select this option, option three. And now I can choose a color palette. I can choose font types. I can upload uh, my logo here, which I can do right now. Once I've selected my logo, I can go ahead and f if I'm happy with the size, the font pair, and the color palette, 
I can go ahead and click continue. This is the last step. So here I've got an option to select the features that I want uh, to be part of my website, uh, be it a blog, um, if I want to physically sell uh, products or digital products, I can select the e-commerce option. If I want to collect donations, I can uh, select the donations, video player, live chat, I can select um, a whole lot more features uh, and then I can just start building which is the last step before the website is fully built. This does take about two to three minutes or five minutes at the most depending on how fast your internet connection is. So let's just wait a few minutes for this to finish. Yay, <clears throat> and just like that, the website is done building. Let's have a look at how our new site built with WordPress and AI look like. It's just exactly like how it showed on the preview and all the content here has been pre-populated. You do, however, still need to come back and uh, update the content. Like here, it's, it's saying, share your company stats or achievement. Of course, this you can edit, but bulk of the work has been done for you by the AI tool. And that's how the site looks. And we did it in less than 20 minutes. Um, you do need to, like I say, update your contact details, your, your email, your phone number, and your, and your Facebook links. Your Facebook links are there already, but just make sure everything uh, checks. Um, and there you have it. That's how you rapidly build a website using WordPress as well as a, an AI tool. Uh, still a bit of minor tweaks here and there, but bulk of the work has been done for us. Um, if you found this video useful, just like, share, and, and, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Until next time, we'll bring you another uh, quick tutorial. Thank you for joining us. Cheers.